Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is the start of a brand new week and another Monday on FIFA 22, which means a very popular SBC is expiring, but also hopefully refreshing today in FIFA 22. Now, the same SBC is the same SBC we've been talking about on Mondays for like the past month now, hoping that it would be unlimited, repeatable, and yes, it is the 85 times 10 that we are talking about, but in a different sense today because we've been able to do this SPC for three times per day for the past week. Does making this SPC unlimited repeatable, if they go ahead and do that today, is that enough hype to save FIFA 22? Because right now, right now in this preseason promo, it is a little bit bleak. I can't lie. There is stuff to do. But again, we talked about in yesterday's video, this is the problem right here. The squad that is in packs preseason batch number one with these cards still in packs, that's the problem right now. So I want to talk about that a little bit today and even will the 85 times 10 actually be unlimited repeatable because we've been hoping that it would be for like the past literally four weeks and it still has not been yet. So I'm going to talk about that. Of course, all the other content. We finally had a Renato Sanchez SBC. Also, today's a big day for... Um, uh, summer swap tokens, the rewards are expiring. So make sure that you get those, uh, you know, sent out of your club and, and turned in for something at the very least. If you have any leftover tokens or if you have kind of paused your grind for whatever, make sure you do go ahead and remember that. So we're going to take a look at all that and more and look at market a little bit because that Renato Sanchez did move the market a decent amount. So if you're enjoying the videos, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start off by talking about this 85 times 10 because like I said, does this SBC, or like I posed the question, does this SBC released as unlimited repeatable, does that make you want to grind the menus any more than you currently can? And for me, the answer to that question is no, because I'm not even doing this three times a day the way that it is because it's not even possible to craft this really. 82 plus player picks are too expensive and not good value for how cheap SBC fodder is. We don't have a 75 times five upgrade to go out and get those done and to get gold rares and you know maybe 83s, 84s, 85s that you would use to turn into the 85 times 10 with other higher rates that you may have. There's a common gold upgrade, but it just you know kind of feels like it's not worth it. And I think that's where a lot of people are in this stage of the game. The 85 times 10 is even losing its height because again, like I mentioned, it's the cards that are in packs right now. Preseason batch one, only 100 players. The special drop rate in these, I've seen people get nine golds, eight golds in 85 times 10, and it's not that uncommon. So that's, you know, Mondays we've been getting excited for the 85 times 10, and now we're just at a point where it's like, EA, you messed up. If this SBC was really going to be at its peak hype, unlimited repeatable, that was two weeks ago during footies. Uh, the last batch of footies with 200 cards and packs, that's when this SBC needed to be unlimited repeatable. I feel like EA have missed the boat, and they've... They've kind of just, you know, they've, they've lost the plot almost with the 85 times 10. So I do think that it is going to get re-released today. Hopefully it's the exact same requirements because let's be honest, this is still technically a good value SBC. 87 squad team of the season requirements have not changed since it's been released. And if it is unlimited or repeatable today, there will be some people that will be happy for it because if you're still going after Renato, Rudiger, any of these footies SBCs that are still here, if you're trying to craft them last minute before they go away, well, I guess Mendy's the only one that's going away very soon, you know, it, it is another option for you and it, it is possible to craft these and to get good value uh, cards SBC fodder-wise from this. But it's, again, like I said, the hype I feel like has just worn out because we didn't get this like two weeks ago when we really needed it, okay? That's just, again, that's the thought process. So again, like I mentioned, it's just kind of hard to craft and the hype is going away anyway. So that, that's the problem with that SBC for me today. Now let's talk a little bit more about Monday content because that's a big piece of content. Again, not super crazy hype, but we do have one more transfer SBC that we have not seen yet. And we have a, a leaked Diego Carlos um, Villa card that um, is, is not out in the game just as of yet. And as we currently look at the leaks, well, I can't even type this guy's name. Diego Carlos, you guys know who he is. I'm not going to find him on the market. He doesn't have any special cards, at least recent ones. Uh, that would be a really nice center back card that could drop today. I mean, we just had the Rudiger SBC, of course which a lot of people went out and did, but a Diego Carlos could rival him as a Brazilian center back with Premier League links instead 
of La Liga. And on the, I know the Real Madrid links are very, very nice and very, very popular, but a Diego Carlos with the Prem Brazil links could be very popular as well today. All depends on the price. All depends on the stats. I don't exactly know if that's getting dropped today. I should rephrase that. Uh, it could be later on this week inside of, you know, the middle of the week and instead of last week where we didn't have like anything in the middle of the week. Maybe this week they'll give us an SBC or two player wise. We've already had Rudiger. We had Renato Sanchez yesterday. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and the, the transfer SBCs keep rolling, but that's the only one that we have leaked right now is Diego Carlos. So we will see if that's today or later on. But the, for the rest of the Monday content, I mean, I'm not expecting more swap tokens today, obviously. In fact, the objectives are, are going away uh, for the summer swaps one, two, or was it three and four that we have left. These are both expiring today because like I mentioned, inside of the SBC section, if you go to the swaps tab, this is the last few hours that you have to turn in your swap token. So maybe if you have a couple laying around the club that you didn't know that you had, or maybe you're finishing up some objectives to get your Ben Yedder, to get uh, a player pick, to get your fodder packs, whatever it may be, make sure that you don't leave any of these sitting around the club because uh, after today, these uh, tokens will have literally zero use. So whatever you're grinding for, make sure you kind of complete that grind and get that done if possible. Uh, and then turn those tokens in for something if you have any left because those are going away today. Now let's talk about a Renato Sanchez SBC that was dropped yesterday. Again, this was the SBC we were waiting for for so long. And I think it's a little bit of a bummer. I'm gonna be honest, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. It is a very nice boost. And I think EA also priced this card at the upgrade that they gave him, 150,000 coins to get this Renato Sanchez done, which is gonna be such an easy price point to craft. And you could say, with the 85 times 10 being unlimited repeatable, another reason why it doesn't even need to be unlimited repeatable, you can literally do like two 85 times 10s and basically get this guy done by going and buying the rest of the fodder that you need. Um, you know, it's two squads. So that means you're easy getting it done with an 85 times 10. So they did introduce some very unique requirements with this SBC that I do want to talk about here in a second. But, you know, the upgrade of this card is nice. I think we would have really loved 90 defense and we really would have loved the five-star five-star. But again, 150K, they're making it this cheap. The upgrade's not as great. We finally got the Renato though. A lot of people are going out and doing it. 1,900 upvotes to 347 downvotes. So very popular card, very meta in game, very OP. Uh, and a lot of people are doing this SBC. I'm probably going to get it done myself. Now, here's what I want to point out. In these SBCs, it's an 87 rated squad, but they make you turn in a certain number of players that are a certain rating or above. You see this here in both of the segments, 89 or higher overall players, minimum two, 90 or higher overall players, minimum one for an 88 rated squad. So they're making you put in a certain number of players that are above that threshold rating, which technically, in my opinion, does nothing. Because if you think about an 88 rated squad, how are you going to get an 88 unless you do like 296 or 95 rated cards with the rest being, you know, 86s or something like that. I mean, if you're doing an 88 rated squad, you're probably going to end up having uh, three cards that are 89 or above and one of those being 90 or above doing the SPC anyway at this stage of the game. So I feel like this doesn't mean much for now, but it could mean something later down the road. Maybe in FIFA 23, they'll put out some specific SBC requirements that we will have to use specific player ratings. That would be very interesting. So this was like the first time I think that I've ever seen something like this in FIFA. We'll see if it translates forward into FIFA 23, or if we see this again in the near future in FIFA 22. Now, speaking of fodder and SBCs, of course, let's take a look at that SBC fodder because I have a couple things to speak about, and I get a couple ideas, I guess you could say, about fodder. As the hype is maybe detracting a little bit from this promo, yes, we do have some great SBCs that are still being released that a lot of people are going and doing. You still had some fluctuation on fodder cards yesterday, right? Thomas Lamar went from down to two or under 2,000 coins, back up to 2.8, 2.9K for a 83 rated card. 84s are below 3,000 coins. This is crazy. I mean, I do think that some of these cards are probably a little bit too low and they're probably gonna have their daily spikes, especially with an 85 times 10 potentially being repeatable today. But again, I feel like with the hype falling away from this game, that's going to make the SBC fodder 
bounces maybe a little bit less and a little bit less often and basically a little bit less profit. That's kind of the what it boils down to with fodder in my opinion. Although you're still seeing these cards move up and down in price because again, like I said, there are still SBCs that people are going out and doing. So if you're still trying to, trying to trade, make some coins or just be market conscious, buying these cards before content is 100% of play. I would watch these cards today on Monday. Again, you have some weekend league rewards being paid out today. That could be some supply for a few of these cards. Uh, again, it's, it's it's the same story that we've been talking about for literally like in the last month, right? You buy fodder in the nighttime or the early morning, and it goes up after content for an hour. You sell it, or you do an SBC for cheaper right away. Then you buy it again the next day. Same situation every single day. Again, like I said, the 85 times 10 unlimited, it's only 47K to do an 85 10 right now, which is crazy crazy how cheap that is which does make it even a little bit better of good value but also your fodder in general is just down so much that it's also making sense why that SBC has gotten a lot cheaper and, and the value levels are maybe a little bit less there uh, since it's really cheap to do and you have 90 rated cards or excuse me you have 94 rated cards that are 13k crazy right crazy with the value of fodder at this stage so that's kind of what's going on with SBC fodder at the moment. Again, you can do your daily stock on the low tier. I think it will go up today with the release of whatever content that we do get. Now, yesterday, we also had the 93 plus moments player pick. No nation specific one, though, like we were maybe expecting. We had the Brazil, Dutch and France one uh, from last week that was not re-released, unfortunately. So yesterday, it was just the 93 plus and the Renato Sanchez SBC. Now, also with this Renato, just to point out for a bit, some of those PSG cards, especially your rare PSG cards, like this messy team of the year. I mean, these, wow, he just literally sold for 820,000 coins and now there's a 790. Like this guy's price, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you his flipping graph because it's even crazier to see the flipping graph for some of these PSG guys. But these price fluctuations were mad on some of the PSG cards, just with how much hype the Renato has for sure. I might even buy this messy. I'm not even lying. I might buy this. 730 is what he was a bit ago. Look at this, man. 700K. He went all the way. He was at 900K. Like this guy was up over 100,000 coins. We have sales. 850, 835, 850, 857. Some, some high 800 sales for a lot of the time there yesterday. So if I can get this one on bid here, like 730, then I might go for it. But some of your messy cards, the messy shapeshifter is over 2 million coins now. Um, after he was like 1.7, I think. Yeah, maybe not quite 1.7, but let's see. Saturday, he was 1.88. It just kind of kept rising. The, the longer that Renato was delayed, he just kept rising because people knew that, again, the hype was going down. And, um, you know, that makes the card more rare and Messi's not in packs. And that just meant that Renato was coming sooner or later. So, you know, there were a couple cards that went down, like the 96 rated Sergio Ramos card. That was a card that went down, of course, because you had another midfielder released. So we went from 180 down to 120. He did go back up, though, to about 160, 170,000 coins where he is right now on the market. Um, but that's honestly just because... He's got PSG links, man, and he's a pretty rare card. I don't even believe he might not be in packs right now. I, I, I'm kind of losing track on who's in packs. Actually, you know what? He might be in packs with this batch one of preseason, but I'm kind of losing track of what cards are in packs because that's just where we're at with this preseason promo. Again, the hype is just dwindling down. Now, for me, again, this week, what I'm grinding right now is I got to get that 50K pack secured. 50K pack has to be secured from the kickstart objective. Preseason cup. A nice W, nothing super insane there. Get some extra packs and some shape to the player picks and the warm-up objective as well. Might as well get these done because they're super duper easy to do. But it's for this kickstart pack here that is such a key grind. I'm gonna say it like every single video this week. That's what you gotta be doing right now in FIFA 22 to get yourself set up for FIFA 23 ultimate team so start of a brand new week today on monday again not a whole lot going on we'll see if the 85 times 10 gets re-released repeatable again it just it's kind of the story of a little bit too not not enough and it's too late that's the problem so i honestly just can't wait until these cards go out of packs give us something new ea sports get 200 cards back in packs that'll revive a little bit of hype left for the end game of fifa 22 in my opinion so comment down below what you guys are feeling right now with this game what you're grinding how you feel about renato and everything related to that but if you did enjoy today's video smash the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out